Hey, 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 everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope everyone's doing well and that you are, um, you know, staying as safe and as ha uh, and happy and, um, you know, as, as much as we can all be. Um, I'm Icy, and in today's live, um, you know, in these uncertain times, you know, um, so many of us are in flux as to our jobs and, and how we're going to um, earn an income. So what I thought I would talk about um, are, are provide you with are seven steps to becoming an extraordinary entrepreneur. Now, there's two types of entrepreneurs in the world. There's the average entrepreneur and the ex um, extraordinary entrepreneur. And there's a big difference between the two, you know, especially in terms of how much money you can make and the kind of lifestyle you can achieve. So what I intend to do in this live is um, it's intended really for those entrepreneurs who aren't content to settle for average and don't mind putting in a little elbow grease to become extraordinary. So if that sounds like you and you're willing to do whatever it takes, I am now going to give to you my seven steps to help you build your business or if you're a network marketer, your network marketing business into something extraordinary. So starting off, first thing you have to do is you have to make the decision. So the first thing you need to do, you must make the decision to become extraordinary. Now, I know that this sounds almost too basic, but most people, believe it or not, never make a true commitment to excellence. And the mere fact that you're watching this live well, to me, that's showing that you are making a commitment to build your business. But let me tell you, though, that that is just half the step. The full step is to make a full commitment to becoming truly great. And in my opinion, um, if you're going to do something, well, you might as well be great at it. Because what's interesting is that the actions you must take may seem somewhat basic and elementary, but they will make all the difference in whether you become extraordinary or whether you stay average. And just keep listening in and, and you're going to see in a few minutes what I mean by that. But the first step, again, you have to make the decision and you have to commit. And then and only then can you proceed to build your business or if you're a network marketer, your network marketing business into an extraordinary business. Next, feel great about money. And this is a biggie. You need to feel great. And I don't mean just good. I mean great about making money and being serious. This, you know, it's a big sticking point, this making money for a lot of people. Many people develop these, these weird attitudes around money, success, abundance, and material things. So you need to ask yourself, what's wrong with making a lot of money? And from my perspective, there's nothing wrong with it. Money is a tool, just like a flame is a tool. You know, with a flame, you can cook a meal, you can keep yourself warm, or, you know, you arguably could burn down your house. Um, it just, the bottom line is, it all depends on how you use it. Or if you take, for example, a hammer, okay? You can use the hammer to build a house. You can use the hammer to fix things. But arguably, you could also use a hammer to hurt somebody by hitting them in the head. You know, don't do that. Um, but I'm just trying to make a point here, and I think you all get it. The bottom line is it's all in how you use the tool. And the same is true of money, which is just a piece of paper that you can use to exchange value for value. I mean, really, that's it. Now, here's how a lot of people think. If I have too much money, what are other people going to think of me? And sure, they may not say that, but they're certainly thinking it. And you can tell by how they interact with money because even when they're trying to sell their product or their service, they're holding back. I mean, 
what I call it is I call it the selling from the heels because they don't want to be too pushy or too aggressive. And honestly, all of that, that whole stigma they have in their head, all stems from this negative, limited attitude towards money. But if you're going to be extraordinary, you have to equate money to service, where you make money by providing value to people. And if you feel good about providing value to people, then there's nothing wrong with making a lot of money. So feel good about it. In my opinion, money, it represents freedom and it represents choices. It allows you to provide opportunities for you and for your family. It's not about hoarding it or simply having a big bank account. So focus on what money can do for you and the experiences you can create in your life and in the lives of those people around you. If you feel good about money, you're going to become a much more effective entrepreneur. You're going to have problems you know, asking people for money in exchange for your product or your service, whether it's in your marketing ads, over the phone, or it's in your one-on-one -on -one communication. Make sure that you feel good about making a lot of money and actually make that at the top of your list. All right, the next thing, you have to feel great about selling. You must feel great about selling. A lot of people incorrectly have this picture in their head of a used car salesman, which creates this unhealthy attitude towards sales. The truth is you don't have to be slick, you don't have to be pushy, and you don't have to be aggressive to get your prospects to say yes and build your business. You must feel good about your business or your network marketing, because here's the deal. Selling is exchanging value for money. Somebody is going to pay you something for the value you're providing for them. And that's a great thing because none of us would have the luxuries we have in our lives if selling wasn't involved in the process. I mean, think about it. You're watching this, you're watching me either right now on a computer or on your phone. Well, somebody sold that to you, right? Now, Maybe it wasn't a high pressured sale and maybe you even walked into the store and said, this is what I want. Still, there's sales involved because how did the idea of getting your phone or getting your computer come into your mind? Well, at some point you had to be convinced that this is a product that you wanted, that you wanted that phone or that you wanted that computer. Somebody sold you on the idea. It was either through a marketing campaign or an online advertisement or maybe even face-to-face -face selling. Regardless, there was selling involved that got you to buy that computer or that phone. And now it's making your life better. Everything you have in your life right now, all the luxuries you enjoy, you know, somebody had to sell something in order for it to show up in your life. And even if you're not selling somebody face to face, you must feel good about the fact that you're making a difference in somebody's life because the transaction provides value to them. This is a trait every ultra successful entrepreneur who has built an extraordinary network marketing business or just, you know, any business has. They take pride in their selling and they're not afraid to make a sale. All right, next we have feeling great about what you sell. You gotta believe in what you're selling because if you don't feel good about what you're providing to people, you're gonna have a really hard time coming up with the right words to use in your marketing, in your emails, and in your ads to effectively sell your product or your service. So get a deep understanding of your product and exactly how it helps people. You know, before I got started doing social media, I practiced law, as most of you know. Um, and I did this for quite a, quite a number of years. And when I first started out, although I had a law degree, I really didn't know much about the practice of law. You know, I was so, I was young, I was new, I was green. So 
I decided at that point that I wanted to dive in to as much as I could and learn everything I could so that I could start feeling good about what I was serving people because I knew that I could make a difference in somebody's life if they said yes to me. And until I was able to get myself mentally to that point, I'll be honest, I wasn't very effective. But when I started feeling good about what I was doing, I was able to transfer that enthusiasm um, in my presentation using my words to my clients. The same thing happens with whatever you're selling, whatever online or, you know, whether it's online or offline. There's nothing magical about selling. If you feel good about whatever you're selling and know that it will make a difference in your prospect or your clients or your customer's life, then your enthusiasm and your belief will transfer. But if you don't feel good about what you're selling, then you have no business selling it. And you need to go back and either get excited or find something else. It's a tough uphill battle if you don't have a high level of belief in what you do. And I know there's some people who can fake it for a short period of time, but in the long term, you're not going to win and you're not going to feel good about yourself. And trust me, your customers or your clients or your prospects, they're not going to feel good either about what you're telling them because they're going to sense that something's wrong. So if you want to build your business or your network marketing business into something extraordinary, you got to believe in what you're selling. Next, become competent. You know, like I said before, when I first started practicing law, I really didn't know much about, you know, practicing law. I had a law degree, I had some education, but I truly did not know much about practicing law. So, and you know, when, when I think back to those days, you know, I was sitting down with people that were, you know, all different ages. They could be younger than me, they could be older than me, some were my age, it didn't matter. But I was talking to them about their lives, about representing them, whether it was um, a civil action or a criminal action. And I knew I had to get really competent in order for them to take me seriously. Because when you become competent, that breeds confidence. And when you are confident, that's when people will begin to say yes. So when I got started, I spent all my free time doing research and learning as much as I could possibly learn so that I could understand and, and speak the language of the law that I was practicing. And within a short period of time, um, I know the lighting isn't here and I isn't good here and I apologize. Um, but in a short period of time, I started to sound and look like an expert in the eyes of my potential clients. And remember what I said, competence breeds confidence. I would sit down with somebody, they could possibly be twice my age, and I could talk to them about stuff that they didn't know about. And suddenly, age became a non-issue. So whatever you're promoting, learn the product and learn the industry. That way, not only are you going to be competent, but you'll also feel good about selling it. And when your prospects or clients or customers sense your competence, they're a lot more likely to say yes to you. Next, become a student of marketing. Extraordinary entrepreneurs are passionate about marketing and dedicate a little bit of time each day to studying effective advertising. Now there are classic books out there, two of which are The Scientific Advertising by Claude Hopkins and Tested Advertising Methods by John Kaplis. Even with the, even though these books that I just mentioned to you were written 50 to 100 years ago, the principles in them are as true today as they were back then. And they're as applicable to online tools as they were to old school tools such as newspapers and magazines. So I urge you to go check out these books, study them, study the ads in there, and seek to understand why they're classics. Also, another thing you can do, look at what other marketers are doing online, how they're communicating in emails, what they're doing with their video sales letters, what are they saying in their blog post, 
How are they posting on their, you know, to their uh, Facebook page? And what kind of sales letters do they use? Almost every day, without fail, I dedicate some time to studying marketing. My philosophy has always been that if you invest at least one hour a day to getting good at what you do, by the end of the year, that's 365 hours. And even if you want to take a couple of weeks off, say for vacation or travel, whatever. So maybe instead of 365 hours, you get 350 hours of improvement in one area, you know, like marketing or advertising or even copywriting. Imagine if you did that for the next 12 months, one hour every day. Now, you're not going to become the best marketer in the world in a single year, but you're going to be in the top three to 5%. And your income is going to reflect that because you're going to know so much more about marketing and advertising and understand what's really working. I mean, isn't that worth one hour a day? I think it is, you know, and, and honestly, I think it, you have to do that to make it, to make that a part of your day to become extraordinary. Now, finally, my last tip, get comfortable being uncomfortable. Now, what do I mean by that? You know, as human beings, we're hardwired to seek comfort. You know, when you're sleeping at night and you get a little uncomfortable in bed, what do you do? You toss and turn until you become comfortable. You know, another example, let's say you're sitting with your legs crossed and you feel some pain. What do you do? You adjust yourself so you can get comfortable. By nature, we seek comfort. However, as entrepreneurs, it's like we're going against nature because the business that we're in, it's an emotional roller coaster. Things go wrong all the time. You can run an ad and it may not generate any sales or it may start generating leads and generating sales. Um, you know, and then all of a sudden, the next thing you know is your ad gets disapproved or your account gets shut down. Or let's say you make a sale. Everything is wonderful. Then a couple of days later, the person you made the sale to cancels. Now what do you got? You got to do a refund. Then there's those that will send you nasty emails saying that you're a spammer and that you scam people. These kinds of things, they're going to happen. But you must get comfortable with the fact that it's going to be uncomfortable. Some people are going to say no. And not all your ads are going to kick butt. There's going to be setbacks as you build your network marketing business or any business for that matter. You're not always going to make a lot of money in your advertising. In fact, if you're starting out and you're just starting to advertise, you're likely going to lose money in the beginning as you're learning the ropes and gaining experience. And it's an uncomfortable feeling, but you have to get comfortable with it because if you don't fight it, and if you're okay with being uncomfortable for a period of time, I can promise you that this emotional roller coaster is going to get a lot smoother. Stay resilient and focused, and you're going to have a much easier time becoming an extraordinary entrepreneur. All right, those are my seven things, but I have one more because, like all extraordinary entrepreneurs, I go above and beyond to deliver value. So my very, very, very last tip, my number eight tip, make taking action a habit. A lot of people say take action. You know, anybody, um, well, let me back up. A lot of people say take action, but the key is you need to make it a habit. Now, what I mean by that is anybody can watch a video or a Facebook Live or attend a seminar or even read a book. But most people don't take action on the stuff that they're learning. Most people just sit back and think about how great it's going to be when they implement um, that thing that they're going to eventually do, but they never do it. Anytime you go to a meeting or a convention or you're reading a book, or even if you're just attending a seminar or you're, you know, you're listening to a live, I highly, highly, highly urge you take notes. But here's what you need to do when you take those notes. 
because it's not just about taking those notes. You need to have a separate sheet of paper and write down your action items. List what you're actually going to do. List exactly what action steps you're going to take when you're done, because that's what makes all the difference. It's not the number of books you read or the seminars you attend or even the videos that you watch. It's the actions you take. And one thing that I've noticed, all extraordinary entrepreneurs make taking action a daily habit. So commit to taking serious action this week. Go out there and kick some butt. Now, if you want to learn more about how to build your business or your network marketing business into something extraordinary, I, I you know, urge you to visit my website, icycanfer.com and get your and go to the products tab at the top of the um, home screen, click on that. And on the products page at the very top, you'll see access to Elite Marketing Pro's free 10 day online recruiting boot camp. Just click on the access now, put in your information, and you will get into your emails 10 days worth of free information on how you can build your business. And then look at the other products. Maybe there's something else there that's going to be something that's going to benefit you. And I urge you to look at all the products that are on that page. Each one of them has strategies that will help you build your business online using proven attraction marketing strategies so you'll never have to chase down deadbeat prospects again and you will become extraordinary. I thank you all for joining me. I'm Icy. Please stay healthy, everybody. Stay safe, safe, everybody. And until the next time, I'll see you. Take care. through and I'll show on my screen our action steps that um, that I recommended we do okay or I recommend you do um, at the end of each session and so I'm gonna have you all hey Karen uh, basically we're gonna start going through how I'm gonna have you all start putting in your information